I need to give you uh, my new character portrait, I guess. You can change it yourself right now. Okay. Uh, you have short blonde hair now. Yeah. And I've got a a long um, blonde wig on. Okay, so you go out to the other side of the docks, and you see this boat. It's pretty big. It's pretty damn big. It's at least three times the size of uh, the Livestock Express. You see, um, you know, like one of those walkways, like a ramp or something, leading down from from that point on down to the pier. And you see okay. men coming in and out of the ship and you know, moving crates and doing their, you know, ship thing. All right, Fritz's twin. All right, so how do we want to do this? Do we want to... How, how do we want to get on this boat to plant the C4? Not sure yet. If you could point me to the captain, I can mind control him to just let us on the boat, but he has a lot of extra people with him. It's pretty... We can talk to can the, talk. uh... Oh, what's... What's the guy who's in charge of the, uh, docks called? Harbormaster? Th yeah, something like that. Thanks. Um, Too bad. Too bad Volcom's taking such a long nap. Perhaps <laughs> we could have asked him to, <laughs> to negotiate, but I don't want to wake him up. That would be rude. Let him sleep. We could, uh... He's been crying all night. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> we could try to get on as the crew. Yeah. You talk uh, about him and then you, like, he gets <laughs> online. It's I like know. he heard you talking shit. <laughs> it's just like, excuse me. <laughs> well, we might yes. as well wait for him now. Tell him what's oh, going is he, on. Is he on Mumble? Right. He's, he just got on Tabletop so oh, okay. I guess he's done. Yeah, because if, if we had Volcom, we could ask him to like try to negotiate and say that we, we need to be smuggled. And then while we're he's talking to him, somebody can go and sneaky we put C4. We don't have the C4 with us right yet. No, 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 we're just scoping it out. Yeah, we're scoping it out. But I was saying, like, um, you can mind control the Harbor Master and we could move some shit, you know, pose as... Um, uh, loading shit onto the dock, or loading shit onto the um, the ship. Jeez. You could definitely do that too. And then we can just take the C4 in there. Where do we get the C4? <clears throat> Where do we get it to in the ship? Sink it. Uh, I'd do engine room. At least, at least, that would at least would disable at least it, it, which is sort of the best thing, which is the next best thing. We don't have to sink the whole ship. What were you saying, Jenny? Oh, just that <clears throat> it's a boat, and C4 generally blows holes and things. <laughs> the little boat flipped over. It's also a fuel tank. Boom. That's my question. Can you put it in a gas tank or something like that? We need Mecca to actually set the explosives, though, because I don't have any skills in demolitions. What yeah, the heck I is the room? a pretty good demo expert. What the heck is the room called for boys? I don't know. <laughs> Pull this up. I don't know what that what means. What? What? <laughs> They're called cabin boys. Oh, this is this their is room. Their... That's it's special. Uh, that's equivalent in sync in 2080. <laughs> four boys. You don't need a fifth. If you got four, you can do the job of five. Well, at least we have a balloon shelter here. So the balloons won't. Oh, yeah. So if they get bombed, the balloons will be okay. Can we set up any kind of remote detonator, like a microchip or whatever, you can put on the block to see for so we can leave it all over the ship? Yeah. That guy's got a pretty good explosive skills, actually. I forgot. She's the only one who has it. We probably need to go talk to her. I'm just thinking, like, if you could put, I'm not saying like put it in the gas tank, but if you could put some all over the ship, it could, it could sink pretty quickly um, and uh, pretty uniformly. So it'd be harder to find out what happened. Not that I know anything about explosives, because I'm just the car driver guy on a boat, which makes no sense. 
Well, these boats are, uh, you know, they've got rigger interfaces in them somewhere. So you can plug into the boat and become the boat. Yeah, but really? Become yeah, the yeah. <laughs> hey, what if we, what if we got the um, C4 into something that they were smuggling? So they mm. put it in themselves. That's really smart. They do the work for us. We set a remote yeah. charge on it and just like put it in a crate I just that they're taking get, on board. I just have to get one of the guys alone and then mind control them and then they would put it on the boat anyways. I'm with, um, I'm with Private Jack's plan. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. That's an excellent plan. Okay, so wait. So as Fritz and I are watching them do their work from far off, so they, they're just bringing stuff onto the ship. Is anybody looking at the boxes and stuff as soon as they're brought on? Nondescript crates, metal, no markings. And no one, no one seems to be scanning them or anything like that. Security's pretty lax. They're just putting them on there. We're just putting them up there. All Let's right. do it. Can I make like a... Some some kind of note to myself about what one of these people looks looks like, so I can like corner them later. I guess they just look like dock people. Where do they go hang out? The dock workers. Where do they go hang? Out? What bars? The whore bars. Well, we could uh, we could follow some of these scallywags to go see where they <laughs> they do their thing. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna follow yeah. them? So we're gonna buy Chima clothes to like go into these bars? I don't think I look that out of place. Well, maybe Fritz should follow them then. Fritz fits in everywhere. <laughs> this is just like a bar I had just in case I needed a bar. Yeah, this bar is called Jungle Rot. All right, well. Hey, keep an eye on the ones that we know are, like, from that ship. Okay. Um, let me pull up a good character portrait for somebody who looks like they'd work on a boat. How do I make a custom uh, character portrait? Why? Because I'm trying to change Chima's character portrait to reflect her new haircut. Uh, I can do it right now. Just give me a sec. Uh, d let's do it after the game. It doesn't matter that much. Link it, link, give me the link and I'll just make it right now. I had a saved image, so I'll just email you the saved image because I'm not going to dig it up again. Does that work? Boat guy. Okay. You guys walk into Jungle Rot, and um, the orc who you tell from the boat, he goes up to the counter and he orders a drink and everything. You will lead. My lead? Are, we, are we all going? I thought you were going to mind control him. Oh yeah, no, I'm not just going to... Well, I guess I technically could. Are there any windows? Yeah. Alright, can I just look through the window and see him and do it then? <laughs> Give me a roll. I want to be lazy. Be... How long does it last? As long as I can see them. Oh, so if he walks away... That's no bueno. Yeah, that's not good, because if you lose his line of sight... I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Okay. Let me... I'm sorry, I have, don't even have the roller up. I'm going to still try to mind control him, though. I have a plan. We just need to get the stuff in the crates. Yeah, so why are we following this guy? I thought you were just going to mind control him. 
Yeah, yeah, no, I am. I'm trying to pull up the dice roller. Sorry. Here it is. So we're going to get him to put the stuff in the crates? Yeah. Okay. Alright. I'm going to do... Control thoughts. For 12... Let me, let me roll that. I got four hits, and I'm going to put a force of seven into it. Okay. All right, I'm taking three stun damage. All right, well, he goes down to like, he grabs his, you know, little shot glass, and as he goes to like lift it up to his mouth, he just kind of pauses for a second and then sets it down. He is, like, you know, bent to your will. Okay, well, I want to implant the thought in his mind that he needs to pick up additional cargo. And he needs to meet us at a shady location and we'll hand the thing to him. And that he knows who we are, and we're trusted, and then he just needs to deliver it on the boat and his life is wonderful. He, like, <laughs> he likes life a lot. He has okay. fun. He loves his wife and children. If he has them. You're like the nicest mind control mage ever. She's not. She kills so many people. <laughs> yeah. Okie dokie. Okay. Alright. So you guys go back to the boat. And you meet like an alley behind uh, one of the warehouses. And uh, you see the guy there. Like, hey guys. <laughs> You guys are my best friends. Do you have a bag for me? I happily <laughs> wave to him and I give him a high five. Uh, I don't can, can he just put the bag in a crate that's being loaded? Yeah, yeah. We're going to give him an undescript bag so he doesn't know what he's putting in there. Yeah, no, that's cool. I just want to make sure he doesn't carry it on himself. No, no, no. He's supposed to carry it onto the ship and then leave. I don't want him to get hurt. It's like, so you're gonna give me that bag or what, guy? Here you go, buddy. Like, he, like, gives you a hug. He's like, thank you so much. Love this bag. I love you guys. I love my wife and kids. And he walks he back walks to the boat. It's scary, it's scary sometimes, sometimes to see your work. I just shake my head watching him go. He loves life. Come on. <laughs> What's wrong with that? You're a monster. <laughs> Alright, so I'm assuming this has a detonator on it, right? Like, yes. it's not... Okay, it's not... It's got, like, a clacker. Alright, so let's watch from far off and wait for him to get off the boat, and then we can... Uh, Shima, I think he's... I think he's the crew. Oh, dang. I never told them to get off the boat. I can't. I can't watch this. I'm gonna go. I can't watch this. So as he gets on the boat, he walks up on the boat, and um, he's like, you know, he does this thing, and you see him like, you know, eventually he disappears off the top deck. So you assume he's below. Um, Mecca waits around 20 20 minutes before she decides to detonate it, and um, she she does the clacker. And like instantly, there's an explosion. It's fucking loud and huge. Oh my god! And um, I got back for the explosion at least. <laughs> this area of the boat right here just has like a massive hole in it, and it, there's like a fucking roaring fire and everything. And um, you can tell the boat's taking on water. Well, at least it's not in the poor boys' cabin, because that's probably where he's at. <laughs> yeah, but that's gonna leak back and hit the fuel tanks. We gotta go. Where I'm not, I'm not there anyways. I couldn't watch, so I stayed at our boat because, <laughs> because I felt I bad. Because I never, never told him to get off the ship. But uh, at least he'll die to me about his wife and kids and how much he loves life. <laughs> Have a wife and kids. Details. All right, so you guys get back on the livestock express, and Captain Captain Igor is just standing there, like smiling his ass off. Oh yeah. Is that loud enough for you? I'm gonna go lay down. Like, uh, definitely. <laughs> this is definitely loud enough. That guy's not gonna be, uh, smuggling anything any anytime soon. Nope. He's out of your hair. 
Well, he pats his head, he's like, what little hair I have. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious, Hilarious joke, sir. Fritz gets the side eye. <laughs> No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go lay down below deck. Feel bad about <laughs> what I did. <laughs> Don't feel bad. He went out on the best day of his life. You made that happen. <laughs> I should have told him to get off the boat. Do you want me to tell you what he did, Maya? Yeah. He put the duffel bag around him. Just what his just went about his day as usual. No. And when the, when the clacker went off. <laughs> It went off when he was down there, like, by the fuel tank, and just fucking... So Why do you have to do that? You have to make it worse for me. Because that's what happened. You gave him glorious purpose. <laughs> I have to give him way more specific directions. I can't be like, love your life, and... <laughs> I have to be like, and then <laughs> drop it, and then go... Go back to this bar. Oh, oh gee. He was just really happy to have the duffel bag. He wasn't sure why, but he left it. <laughs> My mages are in training. Maya's <laughs> well, just evil. <laughs> yeah, she's evil. That was awesome. I'm not evil. Please don't control me to make me a terror or anything. Please. I'm sorry. I'm, I apologize. I, I just wanted him to... Do, do things cleanly. At least he didn't have to, like, go in there guns blazing and then, like... <laughs> Yeah. I feel so that was bad. The shortest, for that guy. Uh, shortest mission I've ever been on. It worked well. I'm kidding. 